All right, so I figured I'd give you another little update on this little guy because uh, he's getting closer to being done. I uh, have finished my, you know, power power supply. So we got AC coming in, step down transformer, uh, simple rectifier circuit. We got two uh, um, voltage regulators, one for 12 volt, one for 5 volt. The reason there's a 12 volt regulator in there is because the relays and this module that I modified, um, they require 12 volt, but the two solid state relays for these require 5 volt, along with the rest of the electronics require 5 volt. Um, also, I plan on making another little module with uh, this little box for my auto top off. Uh, I, I really don't like the way it's designed right now, so I'm going to convert it over, add, make it as a module. I can plug it into this little expansion port that I put in here. So for later on, if I want to add anything else to it, I can go ahead and pin it out here. One of the things I can do with that is the auto top off will run normally the way it does right now, even if this system is not even in place. But I can, so when I go for water change or something like that, I can override the auto top off so that it doesn't start dumping in water when I start pulling water out of the sump. Um, another thing is... Uh, some of you may have known, but I went ahead and I bought, this is the little pH circuit that I have, um, made by Atlas Scientific, a uh, pretty good little company, and then, you know, comes with the standard probe. The one that I had, I destroyed. It's a $25 little circuit, it's not too pricey, but, uh, well, this one right here is destroyed. So, I've been waiting on that to come in for about a week, yeah, that's really what's been holding me up. And then I just kind of have it all ripped apart and everything. So still have the Ethernet going on. Um, this is the uh, temperature probe that I'm going to be using. Uh, there was some, a couple other guys talking about using the same temperature probe, uh, not knowing how to code it. But if you guys need help with that, I can help you because obviously, well, it's working for me. It's kind of cold in the garage right now. And uh, the pH probe hasn't been uh, calibrated. And it's also setting in a pH uh, storage solution when it's at about 4 a pH of 4. The All these little modules, so this little guy will get plugged into this little hole and uh, Ethernet port over here gets plugged in over here. And this one is what's actually going over to control the uh, all the outlets and everything. So, with that, um, I only have, only thing that's plugged in is my light right now. And really just because I needed another uh, outlet, but also so I can play with it a little bit. So I have the menus. I gotta change um, some coding. So let's get my surge times. You know, we kind of glare on it. Hang on here. So got these little potentiometers down here. I can control. You know, this is all in seconds for the uh, the pumps. Goes up 30 seconds. Right pump up to 30 seconds. And then for the off time, I actually. Uh, oops. The off time is actually incremented in minutes. So this will be in minutes um, versus seconds. And I can change, you know, the values if I want in the programming for the limits for how long I can turn it on. Versus, you know, buying something you're stuck with uh, whatever, you know, they give you. So I can just go in there and change it. Also another cool feature is I went ahead and implemented... Uh, uh, I can't get this thing to set up. Let me go ahead and turn this light off. So, you can see that it's blue. If I can get it to set up, this stupid thing. Okay, good enough. Maybe not. Okay, so the little guy's blue. And blue, meaning, well, everybody thinks blue is cold. So, obviously, if it was in the tank right now, that would be very cold. So I'm gonna hold the hold the probe in my hand, and you see the temperature starts to rise. And let's see how fast we can get it to a stable temperature. 69. Not too fast. But as it reaches uh, 75, 76, it'll pop into uh, green, green for good. And once it gets over about uh, I think 79, 80, it'll uh, turn red. So it should be turning green here. There we go. So it popped in after it updated. 
doesn't update very often because it doesn't really need to. And the next one, 78. Because my hand's kind of cold. Guess my hand is really cold. Anyway, you get the idea. Oh, there it goes. So, 80 degrees, turns red. I'll still be able to scroll through my uh, little menus for the pumps, and I still have to kind of set these up. I really haven't figured out how I want everything to look. I can see the temperature is going back down kind of quick. And uh, the other cool little feature that I put into this is the Ethernet shield. So, I, you guys have all seen me show this before. I still have to add a couple more um, pump controllers down here. Um, you know, I have current running time, the pH, the temperature, all that stuff. And you can see left per is 30 seconds. 30 seconds and this one's at seven minutes um, but you know doing that I can let's turn this back on so as you can see I can manually control everything too but it's on let's see uh let's say I'm away well I'll pull up my wife's phone here let's see we that one is pl right now that is plugged into the main pump um, slot. So, let's turn it off. And you can see it went off. And it, oops, kind of hard to do one handed. On. Maybe I didn't click it. This thing's going crazy. There we go. Came back on. So, you can see. And everything's coming, kind of coming together. It's just uh, really finishing everything up and you know being done with it. The garage is a disaster right now because I'm actually building an aquarium because you know stand. So we'll see how it goes.